We invoked reform. And that is much more aspirational. I said it's, it's about breaking the false choice that is too often apparent in local, state, and federal government between either you, you, have to, you either have to have massive tax increases to fund the services that are essential, or you have to cut core and essential programs. For years, Tonette and I had, as I mentioned, had two sons in the public school system, Wauwatosa. As homeowners in our community, we were told either our property taxes had to go way up or our schools would suffer. That's a false choice. Nowhere in the rest of society, nowhere in the private sector do you make that sort of choice out there. You don't say times are tough, so we're going to double the price of our product. And conversely, you don't say I'm going uh, to cut the quality in half or people would run to your competitor. Yet that's routinely the expectation of the choices we're limited to, limited to in, in the public sector and in the government sphere. And so what we did was say we're not going to accept that false choice. And that's why we looked at real long-term structural reform. It was tough. And let's face it. The reason it was tough was not because of the outcome. It was not because of the results. It was because on top of that, the other thing that, that I haven't mentioned yet in great detail is we decided that if public employees were going to be put into a system now where schools and local governments and state government could ask for a little bit more in pension and health care contributions, although still arguably much less than their counterparts in the private sector, that if they were going to be asked to pay a little bit more as well as some other changes that come about with, with collective bargaining reform, then in return we should give them something because by and large they're good, decent, honorable people. Uh, and so what we did was we gave them the freedom to choose, the freedom to choose whether they wanted to be in a union or not. Uh, and, and that was the real reason why you saw not only the original protesters but why you saw descending on my capital protesters from around the country and leaders from around the country in the, in the union movement and the liberal movement was because they knew that if you gave people that choice, they looked at what happened when Mitch Daniels did it on a limited basis for state employees in Indiana, they took the choice. They took the freedom.